right, all right, all right. Hello, everyone. You, of course, know who I am. I'm John Doe, right here in Tokyo. And we're going to do another Comrades Let's Talk, where I um, talk about the channel a bit and bring up a topic that I hope is of interest. Now, if you guys noticed, I recently, recently posted a couple of videos from the um, Durochiba National Workers Rally here in Tokyo. If that was the first time for you to see a large mass uh, labor gathering, I hope it was eye-opening to you, and if you've been to something like that before, I hope you enjoyed seeing something like that happen in Japan. Also, I had a chance to upload the march that happened. I hope you enjoyed that as well. It was a fruitful march. I got to meet a lot of different people that day, talked to a lot of people I hadn't talked to in a while. Just got to reconnect with people, make some new connections, and also, you know, just stand by fellow workers here in Japan in solidarity as we express a very different I very different and many varied ideas. Also, with the channel itself, I hope to um, continue to do regular uploads. I noticed the past couple of months, it's only been like four or five a month. You guys remember, I do work a full-time job and I live life out here in the real world. So please take that into consideration. So I'm very happy that people continue to stay with me and people continue to subscribe. Thank you very much. Now the topic I do want to go into here very shortly is something that is trying to get off the ground here recently in Japan, this movement. It's very small right now, only a few people are behind it. Something called a boycott. Now I know just the word itself make your eye, makes your eyes roll. But let's get into exactly what it is. It's an attempt to combat uh, the recently large increase in racism towards Koreans here in Japan. The, the idea is, in this boycott, is to go to Korean restaurants, spend money there, eat there, take a photo of yourself eating it and talk about how much you enjoy Korean food, and then post that picture online. And that's going to defeat racism in Japan. <laughs> Seriously. Let's look into a little bit of the details of this. Now what we see here is something very interesting. It's an attempt to use a mechanism of capitalism, it's called, it's called consumerism, to combat racism. We can somehow purchase ourselves out of racism. That sounds a bit ridiculous to me, because what we see here going on is, of course, we know racism is a tool, a weapon of bourgeois and capitalists to maintain their class rule over society. So what we have in this situation is something very interesting. Now, in Japan, the bourgeois is overwhelmingly one ethnic group, but it's not just native-born Japanese. There are, of course, other nationalities and ethnic backgrounds who make up the ruling class in Japan. Now, let's look on the other side of it, these Korean restaurants. Now, a few of them are chain types connected to kind of mid-sized corporations, but most of them are like mom-and-pop shops. So you're dealing with the petite bourgeois or the petty bourgeois here. So you have the large ruling class bourgeois going against the petty bourgeois for economic control. So the idea is to for the workers to decide which side of the bourgeois, which degree of bourgeois we wish to side with. When both sides don't really benefit us or give a damn about us at all really. So the ruling class, the, the large bourgeois, are using the, using the weapon of racism against the petty bourgeois, in this case, or the Korean restaurant owners. Now, why would they want to do that? Well, look at it economically. You want to increase your control over capital and your potential to make capital. So what you want to do is damn the hell out of these Korean restaurant owners. Get them to close shop, harass them, shut them down. Now, Korean food is very popular in Japan. A lot of people like it. Well, I like it, man. Well, of course, I eat anything. You know, almost anything, as long as it's fill me up, you know. So if they shut these restaurants down, what's going to happen? It's not that Korean cuisine is going to go away in Japan. The overwhelming ethnic majority bourgeois will come in and reopen Korean restaurant shops under their control. So it really doesn't make any sense to think we can defeat racism by simply eating at a Korean restaurant owned by a Korean petty bourgeois because it doesn't benefit the workers who are working there number two a second point it doesn't benefit them 
Besides the fact that it fails to deal with racism, or really combat it, the workers who are working for the petty bourgeois are in no position to benefit from siding with the pe petty bourgeois. Now, historically, there's been cases where the working class had taken over and got a lot more influence. So it would be in their interest to cooperate with the petty bourgeois to fully transition society over. That's not the case here in Japan. It's a very capitalist country. So this is really ridiculous when we look into the dichotomy of it. Now, me, I'm not going to side with the bourgeois. I'm not going to side with the petty bourgeois. Because it's not that type of situation. It's just choosing which master we like better. Lesser two evils type of thing. But what could we do to really, really stomp out racism? Especially here in Japan. Well, there's several things that would be far more effective than just eating some Korean food and, you know, posting online just, you know, for your own self-gratification, your own individualism. You know, and show how much a good consumer you are. Well, number one, you confront. And you stand up to racists exactly where they rear their ugly head. Instead of going eating some food, or when racists have these rallies, you show up and you say, hell no, I'll screw you. You mix it up with them. Number two, you actively push for and support things that will create a systemic change in society. You try to break down superstructures. And you get to the heart of the problem, which is the economic base and who is controlling it. That's far more effective. And you're saying, let's go eat some Korean food and post online and talk about how much we love it. And how much we're against racism to show we're good little consumers. We're good little obedience of a capitalist class. I'm not going to do that. I have no interest in that. If I want to go out for some Korean food, I'll go eat it because I genuinely want to have some. And I can afford it. I'm not going to do it to make myself look good and wear the good guy badge. I'm not going to do that. So I thought I'd bring these couple of points up. Hope you find this video interesting. Leave some comments in the comment box below what you think about this. What do you think is a better method to go about combating racism in Japan? Until next time, it's me, of course, John Doe, right here in Tokyo. Checking out.